Since the early 1970s, Daryl McCall has become a Texas honky-tonk legend. The sunshine. From hit duets with Willie Nelson. No words could tell. To what became country standards, such as Dreams of a Dreamer. On the way of the good times. But before all that, Daryl was a recording and touring musician out of Nashville during the golden age of country music. Here's another of Sheriff Young's deputies, a uh, hombre by the name of Daryl McCall. He's gonna cater wall. I can take his baby away. <laughs> So join me now as Daryl tells me some stories from his life behind bars. Granger, Texas. About an hour's drive northeast of Austin, past mile upon mile of cotton and cornfields. It's here on most Sunday afternoons that I could be found with my friends Bubba and Jill Cox. They own an establishment known as the Cotton Country Club. Every Sunday for nearly 20 years now, Bubba has hosted a jam and fronted an incredible classic country band known as the Can't Hardly Playboys. The band boasts three fiddles, and a member of the Steel Guitar Hall of Fame. Every time you walk in the door, the place is packed. After a salute to our veterans, the Pledge of Allegiance, and the National Anthem, folks pour onto the dance floor, where they remain for the next five hours. It is here on a hot June day that I sat down with Daryl in the farmhouse behind the Cotton Country Club. We pick up with Daryl telling me of moving from Ohio to Nashville with his childhood friend Donnie Young, later known as Johnny Paycheck. 